Yo, what's up? I'm Craig with IQ, and I want to fly planes. <laughs> <laughs> Two friends from an island in the Caribbean set out on a journey to find inspiring stories told by the persons who live them. So with a camera back and an open mind, they learned that the best part of life is not the destination, but the, the journey. journey. I think I had the best set of system to ensure that I, you know, become the man that I am today. Yeah. So you know, grew up at places like Waltham, Mackenzie Crescent, Olympic Way, run up and Nanawato, sometime Red Hills Road. Um, growing up with my grandmother was an experience. She's my hero, Lynette Smith. I remember. I remember the day when I fixed my radar. I fixed a radar for the first time and she said, Boy, I look like look like you have many talent, man. You know, I become a a, a, a electrician or one of them I said, I mean, I know. I'm honestly never know more and do with, 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 with my life, you know what I mean, growing up. Um started high school, I wanted to assist with the school fee and my grandmother I said, No man, my happy. And I said, but more and help. Yeah, she said, Well I gotta work. I said, yeah, if me have to work, me work. Anyway, she never wanted me to do that, but at the same time, she 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 enjoyed the fact that I was enthused and excited to want to contribute. So we had a neighbor, Mrs. Johnson, and at the time, Mrs. Johnson was um, running the, the Burger King down by Crossroad. So mom was saying, "I'm going for the boy, though." She said, "Send him come after school, man." So when I went to Burger King for the first time after school and worked for the day and was just listening to the best thing ever, best feeling, excited. I mean, I say, yo, my thing is, yo, we can't wait for payday. Payday, me, I wait for now, you know, I mean, just that one day. But the, the feeling, that, the, just the feeling of being independent and earning my own, you know? Anyway, continuing, and I remember my grandmother said to me one day, well, you're getting older, you know, you need to figure out what you want to do with your life, and my honestly, you never know. Teenager, which teenager really know what I want to do them life? Anyway, I fall in love with um, airplanes. You know what I mean? I wanted to be a pilot. And I said, no, man, I need to. But the show where you sit up on TV named Night Rider, and, and you have this other show, you have this other show with this black helicopter man, and I don't remember the name right now, but I did just want to be a pilot. Airwolf, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I said, I want to be a pilot. Now, my objective is to try and find the money to go to aviation school. Remember, you know, me and I'm a teen, you know, no man, I get them big money there. Anyway, me be more excited now about working at Burger King and continue working and trying to accumulate up the funds to go aviation school. Tinson pen. <laughs> Yo, we get that Tinson pen. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my first played right. Tinson pen. I was scared, excited, everything in you know, a one. Bob, everything does one. Nothing I'm told me, everything. Excited, scared, you name it. I was, but me not nah lie. I understand why white people bungee, you know. <laughs> I swear to you, I see why white people bungee jump. Yo, that rush there. Yo, we can't explain it, man. I've experienced it, man. I think that was it for me. I said, no, nah, man. This feels too good. Pilot, here I come. That's when I wanted to be. I think that's definitely the Tiki, when I say, yeah, man. Play me, I go fly, you know. Yeah, man, I play me, I go fly. <laughs> Here comes music. Music intervene. I always love music, but being a part of it in, the, in a creative way now was never no plan of mine. But anyway, take on the challenge, start the journey of music. There was a, there was a little, what you call it now, concert in the community. And 
I they wanted me to to participate. Not as a, not as a singer or anything, you know, just to participate, dance or something. Then you know that I went on stage, supposed to be dancing, and the music just take over. Me just start sing. So everybody did their clap while me are sing. I'm close my eye, me did their sing. Barefoot as the day my band, just did their sing. After leaving that concert, me not remember aviation school no more. I had such a rush. And me I said, no man, if this feels so, how it I go feel if me do this outside of the country, across the world? So in other words, I guess you can put say, I dump my first girl for my side chick, I don't know. <laughs> but my side chick became my main chick, which is music. I said that to say, I still, I still love being a, wanting to be a pilot. You know, someday, you know, someday I can take on about that journey. But thus far, at the music journey with them. Alright, so after 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 the whole concert thing and me wanting to do music, you know, finish high school, I, I, I was a part of a group called VOH, Voices of Harmony. Mm -hmm. Um there was an there was a, a sister in mine. She told me about an inter uh, uh, audition and she said, yo, I think you should really go in. I went to the audition. So this is the audition that create the whole voicemail energy. So I went to the audition with VOH and we, 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 we sing and they asked me to sing if I could sing by myself. And I sing by myself. And I said, wow, you have a lovely voice. We'll call you. Me never take it serious, you know, because you know, you know, go them look at something and I say, yeah, man, we call you 90% of the time, you know, get the call back. So I never take it serious. But me is still excited about music. So me and BOH are chat see me. The same night, I got a call, and who was on the phone was Kevin, Leon, and Robert. And they tell me, say, yo, you, you, from the audition, where them pick we from the audition, and they want to form a group. So I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, can we meet up tomorrow? I say, yeah, man, sure. So at the time, Kevin also was the link up spot. Only not a part of the group, yeah. So we did a rehearse every day. Kevin was the chef at the time. Makrila Rice was the vice meal meal. So every time I come rehearse, I Makrila Rice. Makrila Rice. One of the times I say, yo, you know me I got done, I got done with Makrila. So anyway, we did that. They say we need a bass singer, yo. So I say, you know, we know somebody. That's how we introduce Onil to the whole idea. And at first, Onil, I say, yo, my business, my thing there, you know, the, the music thing. So I'm saying, I'm here on the sound. I'm here on the sound. Five minutes later, Onil was at the rear sound. That was Vice Me. I remember I used to play in basketball, me and Craig Jed and other friends. And one day, I didn't have no money for go, for go rehearsal. So we used to rehearse at Onil House in Dwayne Park, and I live at Reddit's Road. And I said, John, I'm going to have to go to rehearsal today, you know. So I'm going to take on a walk. Just a walk. With my walk, man. Walk. Listen to some of the things that I'm going to rehearse. So a friend from high school see me and I said, Oh, that Jacko? And I used to call me Jacko. I said, Where are you going? So I said, Where are you going to walk so fast, I go, man? I said, You know me, I'm going to rehearsal. And I said, Where are you going to rehearsal? I said, Yeah, man. I said, Really, I fool on the music thing the same way, man. I said, Yeah, man. Go and fool around it same way, man. For me personally, I felt a way at first, and then me I look on it and I say, Boy, so much people ask me about this music thing, why me I do it? And but really, if you do it then, I think then and there I really fully decided that I wanted to do music. Continue the journey and reach a rehearsal, and I tell O'Neill, O'Neill and O'Neill them about the, 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 the meeting a while ago. And rehearsal was so good that day, you know what I mean? Nigel staff come through and them time I used to write music on the <laughs> telephone, build them, just write, we just end up writing an awesome song and we enjoyed. That rehearsal was just, I think, one of my favorite rehearsal. I don't know if I true, but they feel bad, but, you know, little nigga said to me, say, yo, you still a fool around that music thing there. So I said, yo, so much people now want me to do that something. Yeah. All right, that go with you know. I remember when Craig J.J. used to say, dog, you going to rehearsal again? Irony about all of that is Craig J. became one of my dancers. You see me, I say?
A year after that, we went in for our, VA, our work permit, our first work permit. Never forget it. <laughs> we sing full visa. When we say we sing full visa, I mean we sing full visa, bruh. When Lena said, You guys are singers? Say, Yeah, we're a group. Yeah, sing something for me. Turn up in them, man. Singing, turn up. Get yeah, our first visa. We had a show in New York called Heat Wave. That show was um, Squeeze. Squeeze Squeeze put on that show. That was Vice Mail, Baby Sham, Kate put on. It was a big deal. It was our first big show and the first time traveling as a group. So you know, we think we're boss now. Yeah, man, we're boss. The same guy who said to me, you still a fool on the music thing there? Eh? Was at that show. Now after we perform, we did extremely well. Come back, I come backstage and I'm not letting me in. I'm a girl and I'm letting me in. I must say, boy, why the, the music thing really pay? I say, yeah, man, the same music thing, my fool, around, man. I'm a day, I say, right now. Yeah, so it's so crazy that the universe aligned back the thing where I get to see him and him get to see me. He said, yeah, see that same music thing that I said, that I walk to. Yeah, enough people don't know what well, you got to sometimes for reach where you need for reach. So, me always I say, yo. Never judge a man when him, when him get to you know his destination or a theme, theme part when him choose because you don't know. So, eat way was good. Come back to Jamaica. Then everything start change from there so now where the group is concerned and then two other members leave and I said to Oni, I said, yo, the trail we can do it, you know, and I said, no, man, we need to audition some more people. And I said, no, man, the trail we can do it. Them time we not bust it, you know. And I said, all right, I beg you, Oni, give me three months. Let's give me three months. Me, you be the lead singer. I was the lead singer for Vice Mail at the time. It was the um, other friend of ours named Leon. So I said, me, be the lead singer, man. So I practice cards for like a year straight. While in Vice Mail. So me, be the lead singer. First producer of Vice I was Arif Cooper. Second producer of Vice for at that time was Tony Kelly. And then with Vice with Danny. When that when I was up by Danny House and the whole idea of he had books with poems and him simply put melody around a poem. And I said, yeah, you can't do that, you can't do that with more. I said, yeah man. He got the brilliant idea to do a song with Mr. Waki. So that's how the way the time concept will um, come come to play. So I said to him, Danny, we can't do a song with Bob Gladim not there, you know. So I call, I call Kevin and I call um, Oni. And then them forward. That was where the time. Nobody never believed in the song. I personally had fun doing where the time. And I honestly never take it serious. Take it serious meaning like, yeah man, this I got boss with. But just I say, yeah man, in the next bad song. Long and behold, where the time was our first hit song. And then Vice Mail Boss. Money time! Nope. Find our next hit song. Ready to party. Still no money. Find our next hit song. Just dance. Still no money. Find our next hit song. Wacky dip, bring on the money. <laughs> so everything changed from this. So my journey in our music just take another tour right here. So now, start traveling the world. Places where we only dream of. Never think to go. Still love being a pilot. I used to have this tradition where every time I go in the plane, my always ask the um show this them for some can can go we can just big up the pilot. We just want to big him up. Then she used to let me go there and you know you're Jamaica them time you have your little friends and I say yo I got ill. You know what I mean? That's how much I really love the whole being a pilot. So long and short of it is I still love it. I don't think I can ever not love it. I just love music more. <laughs> So everything going extremely awesome and then my heart going on different, different, different place. When I think we could have feel so much pain, we lose O'Neill. 
I am asking myself so many questions. What is it for? Or what kind of lesson am I going to learn from this? Or is this a part of the whole process of being into the music? What heap of questions I ask myself? It was such a low point for me personally. And then I guess you would wonder if I would think back about the whole aviation thing and then I'd be like, but I'm fully in now, you know? And being the positive um, person that I am, for me to feel a little bit better, I tell myself that, you know what? Everything I'm going to work out exactly how it's supposed to work out. But not because it's going to work out how it's supposed to work out mean that I'm not going to contribute to it working out exactly how I want it to work out. So I continue. You know, go through the pain, go through the go through the pu push through everything, you know. Tell yourself that you know that only you don't want to, want to stop the music because. You know what I mean? So now it became a part of the whole motivation to show not just ourselves but our our country that we're great. We're just great. You know what I mean? We'll continue, you know, and still they are do the move and still they are stick to the journey. Cause like I said, we have a motto we said the journey continues. So the journey continues. I think that was I think that's my lowest point where music is concerned. I can tell you this though, there is so much high points so far in music. I remember the first time Vice Mail traveled to Japan. I, I experienced Anzan, what it feel like to be a king. Yeah man, like whatever you want, right at your fingertips. All after Jesus said, ask for you. Japan. We got introduced to a company called Pony Cannon. They do, they distribute movies and they want it to go into music. Guess who they wanted to use? So, all right, we'll go try with Vice Mail. The owner of the company was a very huge Vice Mail fan. And what was awesome for us, Vice Mail was the first dancer, dancer I ever listened to and I'm just falling up. So, we had a different experience where the highest quality of treatment, you know what I mean? The, the, the best of everything, the biggest festivals, um, the, the, the most the most interviews I've ever done is in Japan. I've done 282 interviews, and that's between magazine, um, clothing line, because they interview before pictures and all of that, and then media and all of, all of those little stuff. So. And we had some of the biggest festivals that we have performed to, to date in our career in Japan. When, our, when we got our first um, album release, yo, I think that's higher than high. When I think the grades could have get me so high, it was, it was such an awesome, awesome high point in um, our music career. And like I said, there are so many, you know, that's just one of many. I get a bigger rush from music though, I can't tell you that much. Um, one of my most, we did a show in, in Japan, um, Yokohama Fest. Um, Mighty Crown put, Mighty Crown, the Mighty Crown team put it on. And that was about 47,000 people. At, at that time, that was our first huge um, audience. And I remember looking out there Everything where the body can do where Rush is concerned, my body do it. When I say everything you can think, listen. It's when we run out when them call Vice Mail. Or it's on YouTube. Can you tell it? It's when we run out. When I think I would get that with a pilot, I swear, as much as I did have that awesome rush that introduced me to the world being a pilot, yeah, but you see that rush there. And that's just one of many rush. Just to be a part, just to know that you can perform, rush. Be on stage and the audience react, rush. When you get an audience who just listen, rush. There's so many.
different rush. So I think music is my greatest drugs. I swear, give me more. I'm addicted. Frankie music. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 One of the struggles I had with mu the, the music and aviation is if the music ain't work. Did I give up something that I really love, even though I love music, and it don't work? So that the struggle I had, I start doubting myself, and that's where my mom's come into play. She asked me, she asked me one question. She said, "What you enjoy about being a pilot?" She make it sound like I was a pilot already. Said, just flying and just traveling the world. She said, that's all you love about it. You don't love it as much. What you love about the music? We give her a hundred different things. And she said, well, there you go. So I think she was one of them who gave me the nod. She said, the music, don't fight it. So my struggle was, am I going to fail? Or did I give up something that I could actually make it in and check on music? And at the end of the day, I actually said, she said, Nothing is sure, you know. It's how much work you put in, how much you believe in what you're doing. We'll go, we'll catapult you to where you're supposed to be. So, give your all in what you really want to do. I did struggle with that for a couple of weeks. Welcome yourself. I love being a pilot, even though I'm not a pilot yet. But Charles teach you to speak like you're there, you know. In other words, speak it into me. But I love music more. Music at the field, this year at the field. I'm music, yeah, man. I'm just going. I used to be up and down a little bit with with um, Toddler. You know, but a lot of people don't know how Toddler is my brother. So scared them was like my local superstar. I said, yo, channel star, yo, that look good. I know them energy, them man, them on the head all over the place. I witnessed a thing in Sovereign where I'm off a hide coming at the plaza. And one schoolgirl see them and they had to run. It would never be messy. A rap star thing this. So that was another nudge where I want this. Another nudge was sitting into a conversation with being a man, Tadla and Kochi at the time. And they, they just had talked for hours. And when everybody done and I go home, I never want to leave. Got to chat the conversation. They be too nice. I want this too. Not a nudge in the music. And that was it. I just fully gone in the music. Still love the whole aviation and piloting. And me have all the game. Man. Yeah, but maybe one day. You know, but as it stands right now, I still not do nothing in the music when I really want to do it. So thus far, I give thanks. I'm grateful. I appreciate it. I love my fans them so much. Everybody would know me always hear me talk about my mamsie because if you don't know, she's my hero. And all of her teaching and everything that she instilled in me is still there. That's why I'm such an awesome chef. That's why I'm so awesome at anything that I do. You know what I mean? Um, it's very important not just to have a career, but to be, to be, to be true to the career that you, that you choose. You know what I mean? Because not everybody can have a skill. You know what I mean? And your career can be a skill if you ask me. I make music everything for me. You know what I mean? It's not just it's not just talent. It's it's just me. You know? The more important the more the most important thing you can do for yourself is knowing you. Be true to yourself. Believe in yourself. Because you always have people that have their own views and opinion. You know? My mom always said to me, everybody have an opinion. Yeah? Execute what you want to do first, then you can share. Yeah, because opinion change ideas. So, my journey of music started from me wanting to be a pilot to music. Say, eh eh, a music, you know. Take on music. I meet some incredible people throughout my journey thus far, and wouldn't change it for the world. So, may I say, rest in peace, O'Neill. That was, that was not just my music partner, my brother, or my best friend, it was just a part of my life, you know what I mean? And, and contribute a lot. Only was the first person who explained to me, say, yo, you're singing a falsetto, you're not singing a real voice. I said, what do you say? 
But the good thing about all of that is singing in my facet and then make my facet even better now. Yeah? So, there's so many journey and this is just like a fraction of all the journey that there is. Yeah? So, may I say this to Uno, whatever journey you choose, don't choose it for nobody but yourself. Yeah? Because at the end of the day, when you alone lock up, I hear your thoughts. It's not you, this man, that man, that girl, that girl, you and your thoughts. Yeah? Um, I remember, I remember my, my, my mom's just saying, saying that people will always have um, people around them who will motivate them, but can you motivate yourself? I think one of my biggest joy is knowing that I am self-motivated. I, I believe in me. I'm a bet for me all the time. Yeah? So, I think what I personally would want anybody to take from me, whether it's my music or me doing an interview or whatever, just trust yourself. Yeah? We, we, we doubt ourselves so many times. A lot of us have the most amazing ideas, you know. But we doubt ourselves because somebody's opinion. Trust yourself, man. Drake said something in an interview that in, in, in there's eight people. So when, once those eight people good, nothing else matter. And it's the same. If if you have a system that you trust and it work, what why you need to trust anything else? Yeah? That not that not gonna stop you from being creative or trying new things. Because you get introduced new things and you trust these people that you're going to introduce the new thing to. And they won't call you down or demotivate you. They'll find the best way for it to work. So I think I personally would just say bank on, bank on yourself. You know what I mean? Don't have that one, but that's naturally me though. So. <laughs>